Hello, everybody, and welcome to another part of our 10-year anniversary celebration. It's hard to believe it's already been 10 years. In this yeah. video, we're going to delve into a little bit of who we are, what we've been doing over the course of our 10-year history as Neo Weather, and where we're going to be going from here. So, alongside Mark Spencer, vice president of our company, I am the president and one of our meteorologists here, Brian Ivey, and then Robert Carroll as well. So, 10 years, amazing. 10 years, it's a years. long time. It goes fast, doesn't it? It yeah, certainly it goes fast does. Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. It's been yeah. a wild ride, but we've had some uh, pretty good moments throughout the history and uh, we're growing nicely. What about kicking things off with a little bit about how we first got into meteorology and weather to begin with? We'll kind of go from uh, left to right here. So, right. Mark, where'd your interest start? So, for me, it's this same story a lot of folks have uh, in this field. It starts when you're a little kid. I was probably three or four, um, watching Dick Goddard on the evening news, of course. And, you know, my, my mom said I would try to do what he would do with that. Now, there's no pictures or video of that, as far as I know, fortunately. The wind is 15 m miles per hour southeast. Uh, 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 uh. We will have some throwback videos and pictures yes, from will. back when we were younger little, little weather weenies. A little younger, yeah. You'll see. You'll definitely see a change for sure. But um, yeah, so that's kind of where it started for me, and, and it just kind of always, always stuck around. And as technology kind of advanced with with computers and the internet and a few other things, um, you know, I kind of took advantage of using those resources to learn really whatever I could. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been forecasting since. 2001 freelance um, you know for whether it's this little website over here on my own or now for NeoWeather um, you know it, it's something I've always done for almost 20 years now so um, it's a lot of fun um, and it's it's a great nice little niche community where everyone's real close with each other they're eager to help everybody out it's just, it's a lot of fun, but um, there was no specific weather event for me uh, that really sparked my interest. It was just, you know, watching the evening meteorologist. Sure. In this case, Cleveland TV weather legend Dick Goddard uh, for yep. me, yep. but uh, sorry, Mark Johnson. Uh, <laughs> I did watch you too. Don't we love worry. you, Mark. Um, watched a lot of folks, but. Uh, <laughs> So that, that's where I, I got my start. Yeah, it's interesting you mentioned that because there was a specific event for me, and it was back, I actually remember it in good detail. I was three years old, living at uh, my first ever house that my parents had, and I had some fascination with weather because there was a big, severe thunderstorm, and I was watching it out the window. It has pouring rain and everything like that. There's a lightning strike, literally comes across the street blows up, big bright flash, thunder at the exact same time, oh. and I was super scared. Come tearing down across where the window was, go downstairs to where my dad is, jump in his arms, and my heart's just beep, 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 beeping. And at that moment, it's like, I'm terrified of this thing. Well, what, what caused this? What's this phenomenon all about? And then once I kind of settled down the fear, I was like, okay, I gotta learn a ton of stuff about it. Yep, and so for me, um, just like Mark said, it started when I was little. Um, Watching Dick Goddard on the nightly news, I would take a um, sheet of notebook paper, write out what he had on the forecast, and then like stand in <laughs> my living room with my parents and go over it with them too, <laughs> just as they had watched on TV. Not good, as good quality, of course. Oh, of course, <laughs> you know. Hello, everyone. I am forecaster Robert Carroll here with your afternoon weather update. Well, it is a sunny day out there today, and we did start out with temperatures at about 22 degrees this morning. But uh, I was really fascinated with winter weather because growing up in the 90s, we had yeah. some pretty good winter storms here. Notable sure events did. throughout the 90s and early 2000s. So I really got uh, into winter weather first, and then severe weather came later on as I got older. So Yeah, I feel like the winter weather part was always a big interest of mine after my yeah. kind of initial discovery, watching the snowplow folks get ready for a big winter storm, going on the news sites and being able to see everybody hyping up the forecast, this is going to be a big storm, and, <laughs> and seeing kind of the changes. Why is that? Why is one day it's going to be 10 inches and the next day 6? So it was just kind of yeah. cumulative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. most yeah. definitely. Mine wasn't so much winter weather, although I was probably equally as infatuated with it as you guys really were. Mine was always severe weather. 
I, I really, really enjoyed thunderstorms and how all of that worked. Um, that was, and it still is my bigger interest of the two. Nothing against winter weather. I just, <laughs> I, like the severe weather is much more dynamic. It changes, you know, once yeah. you get a big winter storm going, it's like, yep, okay, there it is. 